Welcome back to another fly time video. Today we are tying the blowtorch. Blowtorch is tied on a jig hook. I got a size 12 jig hook in there with a slotted bead for the size 12 jig hook. And we'll give it about four wraps. That right behind that bead there and the reason I do that is just to keep that bead in place next get a tie with 70 UTC and fire orange I'm going to tie right behind that bead there and we'll go over the thread wraps and then bring that all the way back to the bend of the hook so right there get your nice fine point scissors in there that right off. Next, tail, tailing material. Antron yarn in burnt orange. I'm going to wet that a little bit. I want it just to go right. Wet that a little bit. So I'm going to just tie it in and then I'm going to show you where I want to place it. So that's way too long. So put in the hook vise. And right there is where I want it. Just right off the edge of the hook there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my scissors and cut that right off. So just wrap that all the way up. This Antron's hard to work with sometimes. So I'm just going to that right up to your lead wraps and give it a nice wrap right over top snip it right off and done next I did a little test run on this I was using medium pearl tinsel um, and I tied with it and I didn't really like it so I'm switching over to the small Pearl tinsel is what I'm going to use for this fly. So I'm going to tie that in on your side of the hook. I should say camera. Camera side, my side. That's how I'm going to go these. That's how I'm going to do it. Camera side, your side. Camera side, my side. We got it. We're down now. Grab your peacock curls. I got two of them here. I'll tie these tips right in all the way up there to the front where that lead is and then back and then give it a nice flat wrap all the way up and I'm gonna wrap this now Put two of them in there make sure when you're wrapping your peacock that it flares backwards not front not to the front so, I'm going to wrap up and give it about an eye and a half um, length behind that hook. Pinch that off, throw it away. So I wrapped towards me, now I'm going to wrap this the other way. Counter wrap whatever you're wrapping in there. Wire, tinsel. Anything I'm gonna counter wrap that. I don't know if I counter wrapped it or not, but if I didn't counter wrap it, please comment. If I did, you don't have to say anything. So I got my Indian hen back in natural. As you can see what I did there is I stripped the one side. So I'm gonna tie that. I'll tie it in. Tip first. Give it two good wraps and pull it back and give it one, two, two more good wraps. Snip that tag end off. Pick up my whip finisher I just dropped on the ground. And I'll wrap it. He 
you see why I did that. And the reason I did that is because I don't want it bulky up in the front here. Too much bulk, too much of that. That is actually perfect, just like that. I don't want bulk. I don't want to bulk this fly up. When I'm trying to fly um, away from my egg patterns, my regular nymphs and my streamers, I don't want to bulk them up. I want to keep them a profile. Thin in the back, thicker in the front when you're tapering it. So I'm just going to whip finish this off. And what you can actually do is um, if you have some peacock dubbing, which I'm going to do for this fly, I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle in this fly here. Um, add some peacock dubbing. This is just regular peacock dubbing. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to wrap some of that peacock dubbing right behind, uh, right, right in front of that actually. Uh, I'm just dubbing that right on there. Um, no dubbing loop, no nothing. I know a lot of guys like to use dubbing loops. I I use them once in a while. So just a little bit. I make a two inch, two inch dubbing loop there. And I'm just going to fill that collar in right there. And then that's where I'm going to make my hot spot right behind there. I had too much orange sticking out there, so I just want a little bit of orange. Because actually, you're not looking at the top of this fly. You're actually going to be looking at the bottom of this fly like this. So when I look at that, that's actually perfect. That's exactly what I want right there. Not a lot of orange sticking out. I don't know if you guys can see that. You don't got a lot of orange there. Um... It's just enough. Just enough. Next, grab your UV. I use all UV stuff for anything I tie now. I'm gonna put it right in that little right in that gap there. And then around the hook. Grab your light, hit that with the light, hit it, hit it, hit it, make sure you get it off. And that is your blowtorch. Interested in any flies, please contact me on Facebook and on Instagram at 570flies. Remember to like the video, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on that little bell over there by subscribe. Make sure you have that on. You get all the notifications when I upload a new video. Um, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.